You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture with Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom and Dr. Frederick J. Long. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I'm Michael Halcom. And in this episode of Vocabulary, we are trying to grow our Hebrew vocabulary. We're thinking about Hebrew roots. And the Hebrew root in view is Aleph Mem Resh, Amar or Amer, it takes different forms. I like using a step Bible and two letter lookup to uh, have a look at these things. So I'm gonna switch over to stepbible.org here as I put it on the screen and allow you to see if you're watching. If you're just listening, that's okay too. So I have my keyboard set to Hebrew and I'm gonna go ahead and type in the root I'm looking for here. And you can see that it gives me Amar, Amar, Omer. And you can see that Amar, right, over 5,400 times. I mean, this is constant in the Old Testament, especially in narrative. Um, It has to do with speaking or uh, saying something. You can see Omer, Omer has to do with the word. And um, yeah, so there are other, other perhaps related words to this, but if we click on Amar, you'll begin to see uh, that it appears in this common form of Vayomer, Vayomer, right? Uh, Vayomer, some people say it, but Vayomer, and and he said, or, yeah, and he said, right? And this is in narrative all the time, and he said, and he said, and he said, right? We have Amor here, Vayomer, 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 it is all over the place. Now, if we go to twoletterlookup.com and also type it in there, um, we can scroll down. I don't know why it didn't give me the one I was looking for, but where is it? Let me, let me try it this way just to see if something different happens. There we go. Yeah, that worked better. So Amar, Amar, Emer, Omer. Um, you can see, depending on the vowel pointings, um, the Nicodem and the Dagashim, uh, the word will look a little bit differently in terms of its English transliteration. But you can see to say, to say something said, something said. Um, so uh, Imera, for example, and those are some some really good examples. But that Vayomer, you really have to know that when you're working with the Old Testament. So uh, this is one of the most common words that you're going to see. And Vayomer is one of the most common forms that you're going to see. It's all over the place. So that Aleph Meim Resh, Amer, Amar, uh, remember that this has to do with speaking, saying something. All right. I hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glow's House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.